Welcome to the Interconnecting Cisco Network Devices Part 2 course. My name is Steve Dugan and I will be your instructor. In this particular course, you are learning to become a CCNA. But to get to this point, you've already taken the Part 1 version of this course. So what you learned in Part 1 was you were able to, at this point, now be able to explain what the OSI reference model is. So we don't have to go through that again. Also, you should be able to identify all the different parts and pieces. So when I talk about Layer 1 devices or Layer 2 devices, uh, Layer 3 devices, you should be able to understand exactly what I'm talking about. You should also be able to understand what happens within a switched Ethernet LAN solution. Uh, possibly even identify some of the additional problems we're going to be talking about in this course, such as when you introduce loops. We talked quite a bit in the previous course about routing. We're going to expand upon that knowledge in this course uh, by going deeper into other routing, pro routing protocols like OSPF or, or EIGRP. And simply knowing that those protocols exist certainly means that you took part one and you understand what I'm saying there. You should have an in-depth understanding at this point of how two devices communicate with each other over a TCP IP network and how the host-to-host -host packet uh, encapsulation and de-encapsulation process works as a device sends information to another device across a network. You should have a basic understanding of a wide area network, and again, we're going to expand upon that uh, greatly in this particular course. And at this point, you should have already been able to uh, install, configure, and set up a, uh, a small network using Cisco devices using either the command line interface or the, uh, the web interface that's available on the Cisco routers today. 